Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and today we're going to be playing Management, Lord of Dungeons. Found this game on Google Play, and we're going to be trying it out, seeing how it is. Without further ado, let's get into it. I'm supposed to be putting in our name here. Alright, let's go in. See what it's all about. Seems like it is kind of like a kingdom builder, or town builder, I guess. Okay, one thing we don't do is have white text without any of these black borders around it because it blends in with your background. Now, that, that's all that's a big no no. You at least should have put it like an outline around it. Just saying. Not being nitpicky or anything, it's, it's just like a common thing. That's why I always put outlines on my words. I put in my video. Sometimes. Waiting for me? Oh my. Oh. Hey, everything looks pretty cool art-wise. How does one get to the gameplay, though? Oh, I had to click. What the hell? I never would have knew that. Oh, so that was just a dream. The fuck is this thing? <laughs> I like the way it looks. Oh my. Dude, the art actually looks really nice. Kind of got my hopes up for the rest of the game. But the art is actually pretty good. Oh, okay, she's she's basically like a game version of Nami. Thinking about riches. I'm a totally different person. I don't think that's how that works. Okay. This changed what the hell? <laughs> I mean, this certainly is interesting. So I'm guessing it's gonna have a little bit of sense of humor in it, too. Okay then. <laughs> uh, all right. Was not expecting that. Ow. So I'll check my report here. Now, don't blame me. So do we make a dungeon and and it, and like people come and fight inside of our dungeon? If that's so, that's actually pretty interesting. Cuz you barely see those type of games around where you make your own dungeons and people explore them. Um I know I played like a older one, but I don't know if it still exists. I don't have to look it up. All right, where are we going? Out here. I mean, at least he told the truth. He does seem like a scary woman. Okay, so let's see. 
Most of the abilities are affected by their condition each day. Their elements and relationships with other monsters also affect. Okay. Alright, this might be a little bit complicated. Just a tad. So we stationed them there. Okay, so a skilled companion can produce some more output. Okay. Okay, expanding gives more. I'm just trying to simplify it for you guys as much as I can. <laughs> I want to click on that. So these are my stationed monsters. So they end up being in the dungeon. Why does this one say unsuitable? But this one's orange. Huh. weird. So if I was to take this guy, okay. Then he wouldn't be suitable anymore. Huh. So relationships are pretty damn weird. He likes that thing. This thing doesn't like him. He doesn't like anybody in the party. So even getting like uh, instructions or dialogue basically uh, gives us currency. Okay, so this guy at the top, this guy over here, and this guy right here. Oh, and they also changed their expression as well. We're going to leave them there. Noted. Okay. Now where are we clicking? Oh, they basically let like, go of our hand. <laughs> like, we're free to pretty much explore the game. Okay, so we got a character. Four star, I'm guessing. Two star. That bird looks very dangerous with that gun. Wouldn't want to mess with him. So, elite. Three star. Expert 2. Alright, so what's this one? So another 4 star. He actually looks pretty dope. Recruitment. So is it we recruit monsters and both characters? Or are they all just one thing? The game has me interested quite a bit. So here's our free summon. From novice to master. Oh. I like the animation for the summon. Touch my scroll. Ah. Little ninja. So we can summon on pretty much any of these banners. Let's see. So what is basically up with the whole recruitment guys up here? So I guess master, yeah, master is the highest um, rarity apparently. Wait, is this a step up banner? Special pickup. Okay, so basically, I guess community choice or popular choice. Hmm. 
Huh. What banner should we summon on? Any, mini, miny. Let's summon on this one because I like her design. But oh, you guys thought you had a choice? <laughs> now when I'm playing this game. Probably be something trash, but you know, let's hope. <laughs> Alright, so who is this? Elite, three star. So I'm guessing you want to have like a lot of companions because their mood changes a lot. Oh, she looks interesting. A lot of characters with lanterns. <laughs> oh, he actually looks pretty dope. I like the sword. And the crown. I like this guy too. <laughs> oh, I got the featured character. Cool. Neat. So is there any like, um, I was about to say any like events or quests? So there is an event login going on. Seems like you get a master's at the end of the seven days. There's a Rift event. God, there's just a lot of freaking events up here. None of them actually do anything, they're just basically just... Hey, we exist. Wait, so what is this? Oh, she actually looks pretty dope. I like this character too. A lot of characters that look very interesting. So what's up with quests? Got a sword. We already have this character. So we can also go and explore. So that is our guide to basically explain everything to us. So is this like a time, like, assumption-based game to where you just put out characters and then you just come back later just to check on them? Oh, but yeah. Do it. Hmm. We not put them anywhere else? Let's, let's go ahead and tip around. Nah. Oh, turns as a Nis. That's what I was talking about. So as long as this goes around, I believe once this fully goes around, that is another turn. Oh, I actually put it on one. Wait, what? Oh, I actually did get her on one. What the hell? Why is it telling me to go over there? Okay, so even Doggo talks to me. <laughs> hey, dude, don't don't be mad at us just because you can't explain that you're not a dog. So you are a fucking dog. We knew it. <laughs> so it doesn't seem like our characters are limited. Thankfully. Because most games would have like the whole cost cap crap, which would be really annoying. But this one doesn't have that, which I can appreciate. But bring him. Monster is available. Yeah, like, why not? Let's bring him. Eh, actually. 
Because Renga expert. Bird. Only the bird can save us now. <laughs> uh. So how does PV... Well, the battle work. Is it auto? Yeah, it's auto. I don't even know if they have any skills or not. I think it's just basically just them murdering each other. Okay, noted. I am now knight two. I don't need to be acknowledged. Dog food. <laughs> I'll take that. So apparently there's something here. Oh yeah, the title thing. So as we level up, we get all these rewards. What the hell is immortal? Is immortal like a five star thing? Nah. Oh. It's not. What is this? It's been glowing up a lot. Ah, maybe there is. I think you just evolved them, if anything. Did we finish one or something? No, we did not. Okay, there's probably just awakening, if anything. Let's go grab our characters. We explored this dungeon, get us some materials. Alright, so we can capture the monsters after exploring. Noted. I should push that. Too late now. I mean, so far, pretty neat game. And I captured that monster. Those doggos stand no chance against you. Okay, so I don't help in any type of way. So, putting on the time speed would probably be the best idea. Okay, mine now. Dungeon. So we had like a few dungeon visitors. Okay, noted. So you can evolve your dungeon. Oh, okay. You can only evolve them once you get the materials, and that material is from exploring, which we do, which we've been doing here. Okay, there, we got to grab that that time. So let's go capture once again. Our gun bird is doing all the work, carry, carrying the whole team. How high is the speed? Just times two? Okay. Still kind of like his design though. Even though it's kind of it's kind of weird, but still looks pretty cool. This whole game has like a really interesting design that is pretty 
want to say unique because I've never seen anything like it personally. So what are these for? Okay, I guess that's um, stamina. Why do I have an error on the... Oh, I don't have a leader. Okay, expiration stats. Station stats. Okay. She doesn't have an item. Give her that. So it requires to be tier five. Explore this. There we go. So that's all explored. We have another character to explore that. So this is basically everything we can explore that's actually like lit up. Sweet. Okay, so it's a lot easier just to go into whatever... Yeah, it's a lot easier just to click on this, on one of the spaces, and actually start exploring. Like, way easier. Is that another dungeon, or is this just ours? Yeah, this is just ours. So we can't expand right now, because we're still missing a little bit of more material. Alright, so what's an event? You've been going for quite a while. Oh. Next goal reward. Appreciate it. So overall, it's one of those, like, really decent time-consuming games. Oh, there's rewards over here, too, for exploring areas, I guess. Let's see. Ah. I'm trying to figure out a way to start up our dungeon. Or maybe we're not allowed to have two. Maybe we have to have one. Nah. I don't think that's it. Okay, so we've had eight visitors so far. Dude, this is actually confusing me, because it's literally just been sitting there with that exclamation point. I'm guessing I'm missing something. What is journey? Oh, we need to find some gear. Ah, so you can visit other players like dungeons to get like gears. Okay, makes sense. Okay, so let's see. A lot of people seem to be in here, so let's go over there and try to get some gears. So we got a few materials inside of the dungeon. Oh, so once we're going out, 
it also gives us a few past times. Okay. Okay, that, that actually makes sense. Because when you're gone, you're on a journey and you come back. Alright, let's go get the slide. This game is actually pretty neat. I actually might uh, play a lot more of this when I'm done with this video. Alright, cool. We leveled. So we should have a mission to where we get rewards to, right? We still have like, like um, discovered a dungeon now. Apparently. So I haven't been into my town. Okay, there we go. I knew there was something I saw on the, um, screenshots with building a town and stuff. Okay, so you can increase your goat income as you increase your town, I guess. Noted. So what's at the end? So we can hire this person. Even tells you how much they cost too. So you can get higher grade companions as you level up. Over here, you can even get higher grade gear, but you'd also still have to level it up. Oh yeah, we can go up another one. Now you can craft these gears, actually. Not just like straight up buy them. Like buy them. Approval. What the hell is approval? Oh, okay, so these are getting scrolls just to level up to other places. Noted. General store. Armor. So I'm guessing what I'm doing now is increasing the capacity of, capacity of current people who come to my um, stores. Also increase my income, I guess. Okay, now. Okay, so this is where we get. I don't know what the hell these are. Oh, okay, these are for like the. Uh, Companions, because this is the stationed stats for units that are stationed in that area. 
Okay. That makes sense. You can also build as well. Just in case you want like more stuff around. Noted. Noted, noted, noted. Add your opinion. Increase in... Okay. Okay, so everything does, does like make profit or... Okay. I, I see, I see. Like it seemed weird at first, but... I get what's going on. You can even change your theme setting. How much is this? Oh, well, that explains a lot. Oh, I found a dungeon. Finally. Already got our team. So it doesn't look like our character's level. We probably got to manually do that or something. We're gonna take a look at that after this. I mean, they've been doing pretty decently. Except for this little guy. He's been struggling a little bit. <laughs> okay, so now that I have this dungeon, I can put in... Oh, he doesn't like that thing. <laughs> he doesn't like any of them. This guy gets along with each other like pretty easily. Eh. Companion you needed. Uh, let's give them one of the angels. I can even expand this now. Let's say apparently there's something in here. I can change my title. Let's go with businessman. need a scroll for and that's probably in town so I'm just gonna expand A supermarket. Wait, supermarket? Oh, I'm guessing it's like one of those little secret shop type of situations. Like you would do like a like a quest area certain amounts of times. Or a certain stage a certain amount of times, and you have a chance of getting like a secret merchant or something. Which explains a lot, but I think we're going to be wrapping it up soon. Uh, I think we've played a little bit longer enough. So this is my report. Got all that fantastic stuff. Thank you for the scroll. Got a shield. More, more in line, in line of my tank. So here is Super Shop, our Super Store. All the materials we can get from it. And now, to end off this video, 
I guess I will do a summon. If I remember where summons are. There they are. <laughs> well, actually, first, I, I did say we're going to look at the characters and see if we can figure out a way of if they level up. Management, companions. Okay, so you can't level them up. Here we go. Rank up. Okay, so rank up is by material that you find in your dungeons. Note it. Upgrading requires this stuff. Okay, so I gotta find essence. So I guess you can mix your companions together. But you level them um, up using goad. Also, you get them titles for, like, bonuses. You can even fuse characters together to make new characters, I'm guessing? Let's summon first before we do that. Actually, let's do that with the monsters, if we can. Gives you elements and stuff like that. Well, they're great. Elements and status. And those are their status and stuff like that. You can even upgrade them by putting them together. But you require this stuff. So I can't really do that. I need essence. You can upgrade their skills, but we need the books. So to make your monsters harder to defeat by other people. Basically. That you get to keep more gold. It's basically like a PvP defense. Your monsters are your defense and your companions are pretty much the people who attack other dungeons noted pretty easy straightforward i get it but it doesn't look like we can fuse inside of here there's even an option so if players is selling and buying stuff if there's alliance which probably guilds more than likely yep that's exactly what they are. Actually, we didn't even look at regular shop. God damn, we're just we're just gonna speed look at everything and just end it there. Then I'm just gonna skip something. Regular. Okay, so that's just regular like pricing and everything, for, like certain packs and stuff. That is for you wells out there. Advent. Okay, we don't have any advent stuff, so I'm guessing that's sort of like more of event stuff. Okay. That's pretty much it. Let's do a summon on this one. Chase it to go. Alright, cool. Oh, I like his I mean her design. His design? I don't know. Just like the design of it. Ah. Huh. Interesting. Meh, his design. Oh god, that, that's terrifying. <laughs> and that is it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. I will see you guys on the next one. Until then. Hold on. Let me, let me fuse here. Let, let's see what happens. Oh, it has to be the same what? Oh, the same tier. So this is Elite. Elite.
elite. No, that's expert. Duh. Elite. Oh, we have some more elites here. No. That's it. Okay, fine. Then we'll just do uh, experts. Since we have more of those. Not that we're going to use any of the experts. I just want to see it in action. Okay, so all the experts make it in elite. Okay, so it's basically like fusing characters together and going up a higher tier. Or or maybe it's just at random. I'm not sure. But yeah, guys, that has been management. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. And to then, peace out. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do I got a clear view We're gonna make it soon Just keep pushing through Yo, what you got to lose Yo, what you got to lose Yo, what you got to lose Just keep pushing through Cause what you got to lose